In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up the audio channels in Agpad Replay and how to get the best sound quality out of it. There are two ways to get audio signals from your guitar into your computer. Either using the computer's built-in sound card and microphone or an external audio interface connected to your guitar. If you go for laptop mic, you would have to use also headphones while recording, as otherwise you could hear an annoying high pitch sound. The more elegant and advanced way, however, is to connect an external audio interface into your computer. An external audio interface allows you to connect microphones, other instruments, all sorts of audio sources to your computer, so that you can work with the audio signals in replay. So for this example, I'm going to use an audio interface which connects via USB to the laptop. I connect the USB cable on both sides, from interface to laptop. Then I connect the guitar via a quarter jack cable to the audio interface. In case your guitar is not a semi-acoustic like this one, then place a microphone close to the sound hole of your guitar and connect the microphone to your audio interface. Select the Preferences menu. The right driver needs to be selected for your computer. On a Mac, it is Core Audio. On a Windows, it is ASIO for All. As a Windows user, make sure to have the latest version of this driver installed at your PC. Also have a look at the Getting Started videos in case this is unclear to you. Here you set your input device. You can select it either to laptop microphone, which would be built in, or to your external audio interface. I'm going to choose my external audio interface, which I set up before. Select the correct input channel, depending on which channel you have plugged your microphone or your guitar cable into. For output device, select built-in output if you're using headphones or speakers plugged directly into your computer. It's recommended to use the output channels of your external audio interface. For this, connect the output of your external audio interface with the speaker of your choice, using the necessary cables, usually either XLR or a quarter audio jack cable. Depending on which outputs you use at your external audio interface, you will have to choose the desired outputs in the Preferences window. Once you have set your audio and MIDI preferences, make sure that the correct input and output devices are active, here and here. Alright, so this would be the basics to get audio signals into your computer. There are some more fine tunings you can undertake in Equid Replay, which I'm going to explain in the next 2 minute video. This will help you to reduce latency while keeping optimum sound quality. So see you there.